about mm. Manchester United won tonight. They look very good, Jason. They're looking good, Man United. You know, you said he was impressed with them at Chelsea. Very impressed with them at Stamford Bridge on Sunday, yeah. Tonight, they right. dominated, oh, sorry, pos- uh, Saturday, yeah, yeah. dominated possession again tonight. Ronaldo back on the score sheet. Rashford scoring goals. It's all looking. It's all looking well. You know, I have to say, I was very impressed with United at the weekend. They, they, they're going through the gears. There's a there's a slickness about United at the moment. Casemiro, the way they, the system they play. Chelsea got it wrong, and in the end, Potter solved the problem. First half hour, Man, Man United dominated mm-hmm. the ball, dominated chances, and another day they might be one, maybe two up. But Potter had to change something because because we were desperately. Um, in need of some possession and stemming the, the the flow of attacks from United. And once he went to a, an extra man in the middle of the park, Casemiro, so, so, so they had Fernandez and um, Casemiro was sitting slightly deep, deeper. Ericsson was playing slightly higher. And that little triangle, they dominated the ball. But yeah. once that changed, but I have to say, yeah, there's a why, why are you talking about a game that happened five you, days ago? Because you mentioned it. No, I didn't. You just said, you said they played gonna, well at the weekend. Oh, you just talk, said that. We watched, we watched the game tonight. Why are you talking about that? It's Sheriff. <laughs> they play Sheriff. I know. I know, in the Europa League. They should be doing that. I mean, that, that's not the measure. The measure is at the weekend. No United fans leaving Old Trafford not now going, oh, we're back. That's not the measure. Oh, I the don't measure, know. The, I don't know. No, no, the measure was the weekend, mate. The measure was playing against Chelsea away. That was. That's where you go. United actually are looking a really well-oiled, well, a slick, good. well-coached team. It's the first time you can actually say it, I would say, this season, that you can see Eric Ten Hag's imprint on what United are doing. Tonight, <clears throat> they should be doing that. You know, it's Sheriff in the Europa League. That's not going to be... Ten Hag's job is not going to be saved on what he done tonight. It's going to be... Or not judged, I do apologise. It's going to be judged on what he does away at Chelsea, at home to Liverpool, at home to Arsenal. There's where he's going to be judged, not at home to Sheriff. But again, look, they, they played well. They got the three goals. You saw the performance and the result you expected to see, right? Mm. That's what you expect to see from Man United. What about Ronaldo it's, back it's on the score par. sheet? Ronaldo back no, on the score got... sheet, back in the starting eleven. There's a lot of yeah, Man United I... fans out there saying that they don't want to see him in a Man United shirt again. Scores tonight, everyone's cheering. Team Ronaldo. Well, yeah, but I mean, I think most people realise the best United side doesn't have Ronaldo in it, does it? I mean, you saw the performance they put in at the weekend. You, you can't still scores goals. No, he does score goals. I mean, he's goal tonight again. Instincts. Well, it, the the header is just. It's it's the the finish is Ronaldo S because he knows he's gone. Once he gets there, he knows a lift over the keeper into the roof, right? The header. It's a great cross from Fernandez, but it's the neck muscles. There was more power on the header than there was the cross. And most most headers you see, they, they use the, the, the whip of the cross to use to, to, to gain extra power. Well he put more on it. Mm. The cross was a good ball, it's well found, but Ronaldo's now got to find more by using those neck muscles. Rising, the timing of the head. He's one of the best headers of the ball strikers you'll ever see. And he, he reacted quickly. But R- Ronaldo's not going to be the answer right now because th- this is Sheriff and he got his goal and they, they cruise. It's, it's the performance against Chelsea at the weekend and performances building up to that that you really you can say, in all honesty, United now look like they are a well-balanced mm-hmm. side with a manager that clearly has dealt with Ronaldo's situation incredibly well. Yeah. You know, I think he's dealt... Squad looks good. He refused to come off the bench every week, right? Ronaldo walks off in a strop, Mm -hmm. drops him from the squad. United, on another day, might beat Chelsea. Could have lost, but could have won it. Now, all of a sudden, Ronaldo's like, we're welcome, Okay, You play by my rules, not yours. And you saw tonight. So, I think think most Man United fans will be... They'll be really pleased with where things are right now... But let's not get carried away with tonight, OK? You, Let, let's, let's look back at the game against Chelsea where you can really say okay, United fine. are, are oh, a better... Sure. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What did you make of Anthony's showboating? Did you, is it all right to showboat at nil-nil? Is that what the fans come want to see? A bit of you know entertainment? Because he got dragged at half-time and he probably didn't have... It wasn't happy with him, maybe, and people have been digging him out on Twitter saying it's embarrassing. Well, I don't mind it. I, I mean, I don't mind it. That's what you want. I mean, look, as long as you're not taking a complete mick out of a team. I, I think I, if you're I, going in there, it shows a bit of confidence, a bit of arrogance. You, you know, you want to do things, you want to try things. I don't mind showboating. Well, this, this goes back... Just be back, prepared to take a, a clump No, it. it goes back for the Richarlison, uh, sorry situation at Spurs about three or four weeks ago, which I didn't have a problem with, right? I don't know. I, doing a little period and no one's near you. 
No, I, I understand it's, it's it's a bit silly, but well, you know it's, it's been it's up a big stink about it. I don't, no, I don't, I don't you know, if you watch should... Ronaldinho back in the day I and don't... you know Neymar, I mean that's isn't that what football is? It's an entertainment business. Is it really that bad I, if you want to do no, a few showboats here and not, there? It's not that bad, but doing it at home against Sheriff, he's just moved for eighty minutes. I don't know. There's a little bit you go. I mean, Rashard, so Spurs were winning 1 0 at home, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so he's, he's had an impact kick-ups. on the game, right? So in that, I think it was at 0 0 when that happened, when he starts doing that at Perugia. I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, no, it was 0 0. 0 0, Anthony, yeah. It's one of those. The, the, the problem he had, he gave the ball away. <laughs> <laughs> he passed it to the steward. I mean, Emerson Royale done it last night, the no look pass, he kicked it out for a goal kick. Do, do you know what I mean? It's like, if you're going to do that, make sure, you, make sure you're fine. Look, I don't think there's too much in it, in all honesty. It's, it's one of those where you go. You're at home to Sheriff in the Europa League. You move for 80 million. You know, why don't you save it when you're in the final, when you're winning 1 0? Or, you know, you, you know you, you cruise. Do that when you can really dominate the ball and you're having a great game. Mm. Okay. Look, yeah. I, I let me not, it doesn't matter what I think. United fans will come on and either say, yeah, we don't mind it on one of those. Yeah, wait till we're one up. Okay. All right, let's go to Aaron, who's a Man United fan. All right, Az? Uh, evening, uh, Jamie. Evening, Jason. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, all good, Aaron. Um, um, what do you think of the well, result tonight? Harry Maguire back in the team. That was my first point, actually, about Harry Maguire. Cool. Um, I'm happy he's got 45 minutes under his belt today because there ain't enough games to the World Cup for him to play. I'm happy he's back. Um, get clean sheet. I know we're, we're playing Sheriff tonight, but he's keeping a clean sheet. He's played well. Uh, Rashford off the bench, scores a goal. Mm-hmm. Great. But the main person we want to talk about is Ronaldo. Um, I'm I'm happy he come. He played 90 minutes today. Um, he scored brilliant. But people are going to know he will be benched on Sunday against West Ham. Yeah. And is that fair? I know it's West Ham and Martial was out injured. And are we going to have the same problems we did have last week when he is benched and he and Maybe Ten Hag might bring him on 65 minutes. Is he going to throw a strop because he's played tonight and scored? Mm. This is my question to you guys. Well, Are we going to get the same on Sunday, the 4-15 game at home to West Ham? Well, I don't think he'll walk off again. I don't think he'll walk off, Aaron, if I'm honest. I think he's learned from his mistake in that sense, you know, that Ten Hag ain't going to have it. And I think that's shown good management, strong management from him. But what I would say is, look at Arsenal tonight. You know, that they, they struggled. You know, if you're not playing their best team, you're not playing Jesus and Martinelli, Party, Xhaka. You're not. If you're, if them players are not playing, I don't think they've got the squad depth to compete against Man City and to and to, to stay up there. Manchester United, their backup strikers, Ronaldo. Now, Ten Hag's got to be very careful with how he deals with him, and he's got to try and keep him happy. But there, he, he's going to get used. There's so many games. But he's going to feature, whether it's Europa League or Premier League for half hour, or it might be Premier League for 90 and then maybe half hour in the Europa League. You don't know. He's still going to be used. And I think Ronaldo's got to accept that he's not going to play week in, week out. And Ten Hag's got to find a way of keeping him happy because he still scores goals. 